the bare mode physique. I do think that the the retention of water in the muscle is very important for size. It's not something you should try to avoid. It's not also necessarily something you should try to promote. Don't don't overeat sodium to be swole. That's stupid. Just eat a balanced diet. Get get your sea salt or pink salt to get the minerals and the 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 what is vital for your life and performance and just go from there don't try to bloat your muscles will be the ones that are going to try and promote the intramuscular fat that is going to carry the water because it makes the muscle stronger and more resilient again the body is trying to survive and because you're pu pushing the body the body is always going to try and get more of that after that they go on a tangent about uh, wet compounds Uh, and then, uh, again, a quote, a lot of strawmen in this article, they, are, they really like that. Alpha Destiny is not that big. He's a sculptor who builds the proper muscles to create the illusion of extreme muscular development, which is the epitome of the enhanced muscles that Al Alex promotes, right? He says that certain muscles should be worked and it makes you look bigger. I don't have the same philosophy as he does, but whatever floats his boats. The issue is that they follow by saying that he has big traps, which he does. Legs, questionable. Alex has aesthetic legs, but are they big? If you follow his channel, you know that he doesn't like the tree trunk looks. I don't think his legs are that big. I mean, they're big for normies and for people who don't train beginners, but if you wanted, they could be much bigger. Arms, does that person even watch Alex's channel? His arms are his weak part. He, he doesn't have big arms. He's been trying to get big arms for years. He has a tough time building them because as he says, he's torso dominant. Forearms, not going to agree with that. He has big forearms. Chest, yeah. I've never been blown away by Alex's chest. He has a barrel rib cage, but the muscles in themselves are not out of this world. Lats, yes, he has very good lats. He has very good lats because he does lifts that promote very good lats. He doesn't do pull from the floors. Again, conclude from that what you will. And then they say his whole body is developed. He has zero weak body parts. Nonsense. Alex is not a bodybuilder. He has a ton of weak body parts. He knows it. He doesn't care. He trains for strength most of the time. And he has body parts he doesn't really care about. And that's fine. Again, they're trying to present him as that supernatural, impossible to attain physique where Alex himself says that his physique is not unreachable. It's, it's within reach. Same for me. If you watch my videos and you're like, wow, that's impressive. You can get that. Like I will put money on the table now that you can get that. You just have to stick to it and not listen to uh, Debbie Downs like this guy. And then they do a conclusion that is completely irrelevant and uninteresting. They do mention though that uh, uh, an argument that is not receivable for why Alex may be natural is the special training program and I would I would agree like whatever Alex has produced in terms of training programs is not revolutionary and no one on earth has ever produced a program that is revolutionary because it is all the same concepts applied in different fashions nothing on this channel is a revolution you will find it somewhere else the concepts exist in nature or just the people who try and conceptualize it because it makes it more accessible because we want to help the community. That's it. After that, uh, so that was part of the factor suggesting that alpha destiny is natural. And for the ones that suggest he is not natural, he is too big. When I look at Alex, the last word in my mind is big. Again, sorry. Uh, he has built a very impressive physique. He's super strong. He's much stronger than me. It's not even close, but I wouldn't call him big. So again, I don't know what weird standards that guy has, but if in your mind, a guy who's 5'5 five five and 160 is big, never go to Cameroon, dude. Never go to, uh, never go to certain countries in Africa because you're going to think that you've landed in the, the land of giants. There are dudes over there who are like six feet, six, seven feet, six, that are, uh, sorry, six feet seven, who are like 240 pounds. You're going to think like you're going to get devoured. After that, they talk about premature aging of the face. I've never noticed that with Alex. 
and accelerated hair loss. Again, debatable. I've seen those videos about people who say he's on speedies because he loses his hair and they always zoom on the place that he has here, like the front of his hair. And I'm like, don't you guys notice that if you do this, like if you do this and there's light, it's going to be see-through, it's going to look thin. I have the thickest hair in creation. Like it's, it's insane how fast they grow and how, how thick they are. And I have that. So I don't know. I don't think that's a, a receivable argument. Uh, he has ideas based on bro science. Uh, yeah, but I, have, I do too. He promotes bro science. Bro, what is bro science? Bro science is science that hasn't been proven yet. That's it. Look at the amount of bro science from 10 years ago that have been proven now. Nucleus overload, weighted stretch, all of that stuff was like, oh, it doesn't work, bro. Now it's proven and all of these guys are posting videos about it, like new scientific way to grow your arms. Cool. How many more of these concepts are now bro science and are going to be real science in five years? This is not receivable. And they conclude by saying that they don't know if he's natty or not, but that 100% of that the vast majority of people will not be able to build that mass naturally. And I'm going to conclude with the opposite. I think that the vast majority of people do. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that the uh, timestamps were of use because I know it's a long video and I don't want you to sit through things you don't want to watch. Thank you. Have a good day.